What can a cordless router do that's run on a mere 12 volt battery? On this episode of Tool Lab, we'll find out. Hi there. I'm this old house Proto Pro editor Chris Ermides, and today I'm going to give you my review of the Bosch Compact Cordless Router. This is a lightweight, minimally powered router designed for roundovers and other simple profiles. Full disclosure, Bosch sent me this router for review with the understanding that I could speak freely about it and give my unbiased opinion. So that's what you're going to get here. As you can see, it's unique, if not odd looking, but performs surprisingly well despite a few quirks. It has a quarter inch collet, features a brushless motor that runs on Bosch's 12 volt battery platform and spins at 13,000 RPMs. Has a unique compact design, an on off switch on the left side, battery indicator, multifunctional locking height adjustment and a spindle lock, finger guards and a large base plate. Let's break down the features. First up, the motor. At 13,000 RPMs and no variable speed dial, this may seem less versatile than other cordless routers on the market that run in 25,000 RPM range, and it is. This router is designed specifically for roundovers or similar basic profiling and can perform some light duty flush trim applications. It excels at these things thanks to its ergonomic design. Your hand sits over the motor and spindle, giving you fantastic one-handed control. The large offset base plate provides nice balance on the material and minimizes tipping. Operation is smooth and stable. There are detents on the base and help further steady the base if necessary. The inset on off switch is meant to make control easy during one handed operation using your thumb if you're right handed. If you're left handed, well, it's a little awkward. Functionally, the switch is fine. The thing I like most about it is its safety feature. If the battery dies and you install a new one without switching the tool off first, it won't start back up without you first switching it off and then back on again. It also provides an error code in the battery indicator and the spindle is locked or if it needs to be reset for some reason. The bit height adjustment can be set to a rough height quickly using a button and then fine tuned using a dial closer to the base. There are two ways to lock it in place, one using a knob and then a set screw that's housed in the bottom. I've honestly never used the set screw lock, this knob has worked just fine. The two combined presumably provide extra locking protection since one covers the shaft and the other covers the thread height adjustment. But the router shows so little vibration that I find the set screw a tad overkill, though kudos to Bosch for being thorough. The height adjustment dial has arrows to show which direction is up or down. Note, they relate to the base, not the bit which is helpful, but the dial has gotten more difficult to use over time. It takes some effort to move, likely due to dust and dirt buildup. Changing the bit couldn't be easier. The spindle lock is conveniently located and locks in place. Once the bit is installed and the collet locked, pushing the spindle back in re-engages the motor. I've used this router to do roundovers in mahogany and oak, as well as softwoods, which it handled well. It also performs well at flush trimming poplar, pine, and other similar woods, as long as you're doing a very shallow pass. In a pinch, it will cut shallow rabbits and softwoods and works well for mortising hinges or striker plates. It's the only router in its class. There are several other cordless routers in the market, but they run on a larger battery platform and most have variable speed motors that max out in the 25,000 to 30,000 RPM range. So there's nothing really to compare this to. It doesn't accept any accessories like a straight edge guide or bushings. So you're limited to bearing style bits and using a straight edge, which would prove difficult given the design of the base. Runtime depends completely on the bit and material you're routing. When running it single handed, the two amp hour battery is ideal because it keeps the weight low and maintains the tool's balance. Bosch offers a six amp hour battery which will provide more runtime, but you'll sacrifice the tool's agility and balance. Bosch offers a spec of 23 feet of roundover capacity per amp hour, which is to say 46 feet for a two amp hour battery I used. They don't specify wood species or roundover size, 
When I see stats like this, I always assume a soft wood and small to medium sized bit. These specs are meant to be a general guide and are never going to show the tool under its most challenging circumstances, like a half inch round over on ePay, for example. If you're already on the Bosch battery platform and you do a fair amount of profiling with a trim router, either in the shop or on the job site, then adding this to your cordless tool setup is a no brainer. If you're already vested in another battery platform, the $200 investment is harder to justify. You could pay that much for a router in one of those other platforms, but one that can do everything that this can do and much more. All in all, I do recommend this router as long as you don't push it beyond its predetermined limitations. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.